Happy Monday, friends. I'm coming out of a busy weekend where we had my youngest son's very last youth lacrosse tournament. We were there all weekend, with each day beginning at sunrise and ending at sunset. So everything was piled up, up, up. I just got my boys out the door for school, so come along with me as I get this house decluttered and cleaned up for a much needed Monday reset. Pop my video on your TV, tablet, or phone and clean along with me, or sit back and relax with your favorite drink and stockpile this cleaning motivation for future use. Hope you enjoy! Don't forget to like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell notification for more inspiring motivational videos. Let's be friends on Instagram too. You can find me at at home with Elizabeth. <clears throat> Sit. Good puppies. Good puppy. All right, and we are first going to start out with getting some laundry folded. Um, these are towels that were washed on Friday, but they were clean and dry and just left in the clothes basket. So the kids were able to run down and grab them. But yeah, we're going to get these folded first. As you just saw um, in the beginning of the video, I was giving you a tour of what the house looked like. Um, as I said in the intro, we were gone all weekend for my youngest son's very last youth lacrosse tournament. He um, moves up to the high school next year, but they did amazing. They went 3-0 and and won first place in their division. And actually they had an amazing season this year. They were 15-0. and They were undefeated. Um, so yeah it was it was quite a way to end his youth career in lacrosse and you know to carry that momentum up through the high school hopefully I want to melt welcome you to my channel um, or welcome you back if you're new around here my name's Elizabeth I'm a stay-at-home mom to seven adult slash teenage children I have two girls aged 26 and 22 they both live outside the home um, they kind of have their own lives, their own careers. I have three boys, age 19, 16, and 14. Um, the 16-year-old and 14-year-old live at home full-time. My 19-year-old is home for the summer. He will. He just finished his freshman year of college, so he is only here very part-time. And then I'm an auntie to two additional teenage boys, 15-year-old twins. They're my nephews that we got custody of about two years ago. On my channel, you're going to find cleaning motivation, cleaning inspiration, um, a little bit of decor, um, a little bit of organization, um, a lot of real life, just me being me. All right, those towels are all folded, so we're gonna get them put away.
All right, now we're in the kitchen. We're just getting my dish towels put away and my cleaning rags. All right, we're gonna move into the living room and we're gonna get these couch cushions fixed and we're going to get our pillows fixed. And then I believe those are one of my nephew's clothes right there. We're gonna get those folded. Those are actually from Thursday, friends. Imagine that. <laughs> That's a little behind on laundry. Um, it's tough getting back into my routine between the end of the school year and the pups. Um, I'm not having much trouble getting stuff washed and dried. It's the folding that I'm having trouble with. Um, thankfully though, everyone in the house understands. They don't really care if they're folded or not. It's mostly me that cares. They just care that they're clean. So we're just gonna get these folded real quick. All right, today we're just going to use my Dyson V10 animal to vacuum. Um, I did not feel like dragging out my shark and dealing with the cord. Um, you will see though, I just showed you that my canister was empty and I will show you after I'm done how full it is. It, it doesn't, my carpet is really plush, but it does a very good job of picking up the dust and dirt and stuff. I have so much clutter in this living room. I don't even know what it's from. Um, like, I don't know what those boxes are from. The shoes, ugh, like everyone. You're gonna see, like, I allow everyone to have one pair of shoes in this white clothes basket, and look how many extra pairs they were. So I'm gonna dump those in my tub over there so I can get those put where they belong. And <laughs> I didn't sweep out the vacuum, or the clothes basket today. I just dumped it on the floor. Of course, my desk is all messy, and look, Julie, I did get a mat. Um, it was rolled, though, and it's driving me nuts. And I do, here in a minute, put my shredder on it, but it's not heavy enough. So later this day, I think, I didn't film it, I put a couple of my cube organizers on it and let them sit for a day or two. Um, but you're going to see by the end of the video, when I do my end tour, my desk is cluttered back up because you know I was working on it and stuff but it was clean for a minute all right I'm gonna tote that tote around for a while as I'm cleaning to eventually get everything put away where it is so it's just moved into the kitchen now so I can get the rest of this carpet vacuumed to say well I'm not loving the carpet because it is getting dirty I do love how light everything in this new house is it I'm anxious to see how in the winter it is how much lighter it is um, because in in the summer like now here in the summer it is just so everything is so light and bright so here I am putting my um, shredder it doesn't 
it falls over and so then those cubes to the left right behind that garbage can I eventually put those on it um, it's I took them off and it looks like it's rolled back up this is it's a few days later that I'm doing this voiceover um, it's kind of rolled up back up again so I need to put them back on it um, just because it annoys me but as I was saying, I'm excited to see how light and bright the house stays in the winter for me. Um, just first of all to help improve my mood, but also for like filming purposes. All right, we've just moved into the um, hallway here to get it vacuumed. So see, see how much dirt and debris that picked up? Um, it's a pretty powerful little vacuum. I really like it. All right, we are in this kitchen. This kitchen is so bad. Um, like I said, these um, groceries were from Sunday. Um, I had them delivered while we were gone, and the kids, of course, put the cold stuff away, but they just left all the not cold stuff on the table so I have to get everything unpacked into some little containers especially like the snack type stuff and get it in the pantry there So I have exciting news the day that you're seeing this which will be June 10th they are starting construction on our basement yay which is exciting but it's also terrible because we spent the weekend moving both my sons that are going to live in the basement like their bedrooms are gonna be in the basement we spent the weekend moving them up to the main living floor and then all of the other stuff we had down there we kept our storage unit <clears throat> so that we could move the stuff over there while construction is going on so our top floor is a little crowded um, my youngest son is bunking with my middle son and then our oldest son is on the couch so the next few weeks videos will be stuffed full of just stuff cluttered around my house like it's going to be a lot of decluttering videos because it will drive me nuts um, but supposedly it's supposed to be about four to six weeks till construction's done and then we'll have a fully finished basement uh, I was showing you that coffee I got it at Aldi's it um, I'm not a big caramel fan uh, especially because sometimes it tastes really fake but that's not too bad it was a vanilla creme brulee I mean I won't buy it again probably but it was nice to have something a little different all right as you saw I have my tub there and I'm getting the stuff that belongs in the kitchen here in the kitchen um, but I will be showing progress on the basement I don't know if it'll be in picture form or video form I don't know I don't know how many guys are gonna be coming and working on it um, my guess is they won't work all day, so I'll be able to sneak down like in the evenings and get, you know, shots for you guys. Um, but it will be so exciting to have that done. All right, we've moved to the other end of the kitchen and we're going to get it straightened up. As you see there the tote made it to the other end of the kitchen on the other side of the gate so that means whatever's in there that needs to go downstairs will eventually be taken downstairs um, <clears throat> now we're gonna get this dishwasher loaded actually I'm gonna clean my um, filter first I've been really good about cleaning it once a week um, 
I'm trying to do it every Monday so that it doesn't get too gross. Um, and I didn't show you guys because it really wasn't that gross. Um, and actually, I didn't think about it. It was kind of a last minute. Like, it was just like, a, oh, I'm going to take this out and clean it. Um, but I will show you maybe the next time I clean it and I'm filming. But yes, I am trying to clean it once a week so it doesn't get too disgusting. My children are officially on summer vacation. Um, Friday was their last day of school. Um, it was just a half day. So it's, it's gonna be an interesting summer. Um, we'll see, we'll see how my schedule goes and what I accomplish and what I don't accomplish. Um, but it'll be good to have the kids home. I enjoy having my boys home. All right, we're going to get the table um, emptied and washed, and then we're gonna start cleaning the counters. Something else that we changed because we moved the boys upstairs is we have moved the pups into our room to sleep. Um, so the kennels are not in my kitchen anymore. We actually bought them a nice big fluffy um, bed for them to lay on. But my room is quickly becoming crowded. Um, but I keep telling myself it's temporary, it's temporary, it's temporary. Um, so we have both kennels in our room and then of course you know my, my boys love to game and you know they each have a gaming system so my youngest son stuff is set up in our room so that'll be something else that you'll see different in some upcoming videos all right we're getting the benches up and now I'm cleaning off my island so I, I can get it wiped down Also friends, something that's going to happen as soon as the basement is finished is that large long bench is going downstairs and I'm bringing the smaller bench back out from that I had in my bedroom. I just, I can't lift that daggone bench. It's too heavy and I'm scared to death. I'm going to drop it on a dog or I'm going to drop it on my foot. Mm, so yeah, it's, it's going to go downstairs in the basement and then the smaller Benji's are going to come back out. Um, so I just emptied my tiered tray and I brought the trays over here to the sink to wash. They were a little dusty. Um, I haven't washed them since we moved here, so we're just going to get them washed. Time to get these sinks shined up. Um, I'm learning to use less Barkeeper's Friend and it's getting better. Um, I could still use a little bit less, so it's a learning curve for me. Um, but eventually I'll get there.
And as you see there, I brought the toothbrush out so I could scrub around the edges of the sink and I scrub around, I believe I scrub around my um, faucet here. It was pretty dirty. I think I show you some gook I pulled out from there. We're just going to move on to the counters now. We're going to get them all wiped down and we're just going to move around the kitchen until we eventually end up at the stove and I get the stove cleaned. And as you can see, my pegboard sign is still from April. I do fix that. Um, so. Yeah, it just was not high on the list, friends, but I had a few extra minutes today, so I got it done. I'm also happy to report that, you know, my last video I showed you um, that I was lacking in summer stuff. Well, I spent a good chunk of time on Amazon and I ordered a bunch of stuff and I got it in the mail and I got everything, all my trays and stuff decorated this past weekend. Um, so I didn't film any of it because it was, it was when we were trying to clean out the basement and it was just busy and you know I kept I was just going off and on um, but I will in one of my next videos give you a little tour of everything I got and like where I got it from so as you can see there school's out for summer that'll carry me through June and then I can get some 4th of July stuff up for July all right we've moved to the stove and we're just gonna get it cleaned off um, but yes, as, as I was saying, I'll give you a little tour of everything that I purchased and how I've decorated everything and um, where I got it. Every, almost everything is from Amazon. Um, the only thing I did get is I got one thing from Aldi's. It was actually a, a surprise buy when I was just there grocery shopping on Saturday with my husband. So um, yeah, so you have that to look, to look forward to. Another thing you have look, to look forward to is I bought a Tenco wet dry mop vacuum type thing. Um, I had asked you guys for some recommendations, and um, two of you recommended the Tenco, 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 however you say it, which is what I was looking at anyways, um, because it has the um, like the close edge. Um, none of the other ones did like the the crosswave didn't and um, I, there was a Hoover one I was looking at none of them had the um, like to go right up next to your baseboards and underneath my real concern is like the kickboard like underneath your cabinets um, <clears throat> you know with the dogs I got to make sure that I'm getting stuff under there and do you see me there friends about my floor was so filthy about four times I got to stop and brush off my feet because it drives me nuts to have crumbs on there but in my next video I will show you um, unboxing unboxing my Tinco and using it and I gotta tell you friends I've used it three times already and I do like it I like it a lot um, I didn't think it was going to be worth it with just a little bit of, you know, the linoleum I have, but it is so nice. Like the fact that I don't have to worry about sweeping before or vacuuming the kitchen. Um, <laughs> um, I'm so funny. Um, it's just so nice. And like, I have it, I, I'm keeping it in the corner of the of the kitchen so like I can just grab it and do like around the water dishes or like after dinner if we've like dropped some stuff so yeah I will be showing you guys use, me using that um, so far I like it so far I don't see any like cons to it all right so as I was talking um, I'm getting my floor swept here and <laughs> Harper is scared of the broom. Not really scared, she just, you know. But Mac, he was not bothered. I had to push him out of the way. Um, and then I am, uh, one more time, brushing those feet off, and then I'm going to get my O-Cedar mop out and use it.
friends, it's that time that Lucy hates. I got about two minutes and 30 seconds left. Um, and I'm gonna end the video. I'm just gonna finish mopping. You're gonna see my filthy, dirty water pour, and then I'm gonna give you a little tour of all the clean spaces. But I wanna thank everyone for being here. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Um, before you go, if you would so be as kind to give me a thumbs up, um, drop me a comment down below, um, hit that bell notification. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, so you never miss another video from me. I release every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. 9 Eastern Standard Time and I would love to have you with me, friends. Have a great day.